Hey guys, welcome back. It's Patrick Robertson here at Momentous Building, and today we are going to talk about how long does it take to start your next construction project. Now, construction is very, very interesting. Most people think they hire their contractor, they get going on the work, and they get it done, right? I want to get my bathroom done. Mr. Contractor, Mrs. Contractor, come over here and build a bathroom, right? But sadly, there is tons and tons of work that goes into the pre-construction phase of the job. And that's what we're going to talk about today. It's that duration. How long does it take to get from, I want to do my bathroom, I want to do a kitchen, I want to remodel my house, I want to build a new house, to, okay, we're going to start swinging some hammers and get this job done. Now, there's a few things we got to run through to actually get to the point where we can start swinging hammers. And there's really three key items that have to get done. It's one, the architectural the, um, phase of the project. And that's gonna be deciding your wall layouts, decide, doing the drawings, doing the uh, engineering to make sure that the walls and, and the ceilings and everything is structurally sound. Part two would be the design aspect. And that's like picking out your finishes. That also encompasses layout choices to make sure that the actual architectural layout of the project coincides with the design and the feeling you want to get when it's done. So tile layouts, uh, tile choices, paints, cabinetry layouts, cabinetry choices, those types of things are what's in the design portion of it. Now finally, when you get the architectural drawings done, the owner and the, cl the client and the architect say, hey, listen, this is what we really like. This is the final product of what we want to see. Then you can submit the drawings to your town and municipality to get approved for a building permit. Now, most projects are going to need a building permit. The projects that don't need building permits is one, you're not changing any plumbing, you're not changing locations of electrical, and you're not changing any weight-bearing walls. Now, that right there becomes really, really limiting where your remodel really just turns into a renovation and a facelift of the project. It doesn't really change the layout of things. So with that being said, the rest of this video is going to be talking about when you need a permit because those are the real projects that take time to get going. So let's dive into that first phase, that first step, and that's the architectural drawings and layouts. This step is really where you get the architect involved. Sometimes the architect is teamed up with a designer in-house and maybe even your contractor will be doing this. So there's a lot of design build construction companies. There's a lot of contractors that actually bring architectural services in house to do it as a holistic approach to really serve the customer from looking at it from multiple perspectives. But with that being said, this phase can take anywhere between six and 16 weeks and maybe even longer. See what happens in this phase is that the architect or designer, the professional at this point, let's just call them the professional, or her, suggest a bunch of layouts based on the client's desires, wants, and needs. Now, there's gonna be a few back and forths. These are gonna be called revisions. Many times there's a few of these to make sure that the client's dreams and visions are transferred onto the paper and the architect's dreams and visions are aligned. Those revisions can take time. The actual drawing of the drawings takes time. A lot of projects in these days um, they're done in 3D. So what does that mean? That allows you to produce renderings, these different things to really feel what this project's gonna be like rather than just reading it on a piece of paper top down. So that process takes time. Now, the duration is really gonna be what type of project you're doing. So if it's a simple bathroom model with, you know, some layout changes and you need these drawings for, per you need these drawings for permits, but it's nothing too crazy. This might only be a six week, four to six week process if there's very, very minor revisions and we're just gonna push this to the town to get approval. Now where we get into the really, really long processes like 16, 20, 24 weeks of the actual architectural design phase is when you're getting into the custom additions and custom home section. Those are gonna take time because there's always gonna be a bunch of revisions to make sure that the owner's dreams and goals are transferred onto paper and co-align with the architect's dreams goals that he's trying to present to the owner. Now, as the house gets bigger, that time just expands. So we have this beautiful window on average about six to 16 weeks. Now, during this time 
is when the design of the project actually starts. The best way to design a project is from the beginning. And that means is that if you want a certain window or certain lighting brought in to design the, you know, to enlighten the room and everything, that goes in the architectural plans and drawings. If you want the bathroom to be a certain layout to get your certain tub in there, because maybe you want a freestanding tub that's bigger than a traditional 60 inch um, alcove tub, then those have those design elements have to be in there, right? If you want a curbless shower with a bench and these different things, maybe in a lounge chair in there, we've, we've seen that and we've done that before, then that has to go in there with the architectural plans. So the design layout and painting that vision should really start when the architectural phase. Now, the beautiful thing about the design phase is it doesn't have to necessarily finish and be concrete when you submit the plans to the town or the city for permitting. And I'm gonna tell you in a minute why that might be, that's a useful case. Because we can pick out the tile layout, we can pick out the tiles, we can do these different things that don't affect the layout after the drawings are done because they don't need, we don't need to change walls, we don't need to change headers and these different things. But as long as the core design of it is decided on, then we're good to go. Now, why, where the design follows through is that because the third step in this whole process is the permitting phase. And this phase can take anywhere between eight, we have seen, and upwards of 20 weeks, maybe even longer. So we're looking at four, five, maybe even six months. Uh, we've seen that during 2020 when things shut down. And that's because the town takes time to approve it. Sadly, we've seen over the years that this duration has increased in the last four years. And that brings it so that now we have this duration where there's nothing actually changing with the plans and they're just kind of sitting there. But what we can do is that we can continue to pick out fixtures, pick out appliances, these different things, order appliances, order cabinetry, order the tile, get everything in place because sometimes items might have a six month lead time. We've seen appliances have a 14 month lead time. And when we get into that, we wanna make sure that all that stuff is ordered and in a warehouse and ready to go before we start swinging a hammer. Or if we are gonna start swinging a hammer because maybe it's a custom home, there we have dates that they're at least gonna arrive two months before they're needed. So that way we don't have to wait until everything's delivered for the entire house but we, we are on a good assurance point where we're gonna get them early at least, and worst case scenario, we get them on time. And that goes into the planning and that's with the contractor and that's what happens when you have a really, really good team together, designer, architect, and contractor to get this project kicked off. So with that being said, right, you have this architectural phase and then that has to finish and then you have this permitting phase that has to start when the architectural phase finishes and this design phase that runs all the way through. And the design phase will actually might even run to when you're actually building the project, right? Sometimes the countertops wanna be picked out during the project. Sometimes the paint colors are gonna change or they're gonna be picked out during the project. Maybe it's the wallpaper, right? These different things that quite frankly slow the project down, but if you, are okay with that with a couple days later or a couple weeks, then it allows you to actually see the project and be in the project and the finished product before you have to make the decision on something that maybe you, you can't quite conceptualize yet. So let's unpack this all the way, right? Let's break this down to, to, to wrap this up. We have the architectural phase anywhere between six and 16 weeks. The design phase is gonna run continuously through that and run into the permitting phase, which is anywhere between eight and 20 weeks. So we have this window that your project might take, is gonna take between four months and 10 months to get going and maybe even a year. So what does that mean altogether? If you want a construction project done, you gotta start today. You gotta start planning because the more time you give yourself to make these decisions and to build this vision and to concrete everything and have everything in place, the better off you're gonna be when your contractor shows up, starts swinging the hammer. So I hope that brings you to some value. And the last thing that I wanna talk about is bringing your contractor in early. 
We actually like to start our construction projects with the architect from day one and maybe even in there before the architect gets involved. Because what that allows us to do is give them the clients a budget to work with, a real budget. Um, it allows the contractor to hit the ground running, ordering materials before everything is done as, long, as soon as we get things picked out, which mitigates the risk of supply chain issues in these different things. Supply chain issues aren't a problem if you properly plan and you order things way above schedule than expected because when the worst happens, you're already prepared. And then finally, when your contractor's in there early, you build a relationship, a working relationship before things get serious. And that allows you guys to understand each other, understand how you work together, but then also in the worst case scenario for the clients, if you don't like your contractor before you start swinging a hammer, at least you can break it off there before you're in way too deep. There might've been a deposit, there might've been payments made and these different things, but you're not 200 grand in and it's too late. So I hope you guys found some value. That being said, you know, really, if you wanna get a construction project going, start today, start now, get ready for planning, because worst case scenario, everything's in place and you just wait an extra month because you're not ready to start in your personal life. But it's better than waiting an extra month because your personal life's not ready rather than your personal life being ready and you ready to go and having to wait six months to get everything done. Guys, Patrick Robertson here, Momentous Building. Please give us a like, share, review, share this message. We're trying to grow the channel to educate homeowners and really bring that construction experience to be a smooth process with one that's enjoyable, to bring joy, love, and connection back into the home. Take care, guys.